technological breakthroughs from Fisker and Enerpulse are powering tomorrow's transportation. This is Future 360. Mobility is essential to everyday life, but this fossil fuel convenience comes at a cost. The good news is a slate of new technologies has arrived to revolutionise transportation as we know it. First stop, Anaheim, California, to meet Henrik Fisker, the man behind the green supercar, the Fisker Karma. Well, the vision was to have an environmental friendly car with no compromise. So when you look at environmental friendly cars today, you always think they're small, they're ugly, they're slow and we're kind of doing exactly the opposite. The Karma can do zero to 60 in less than six seconds, has the power of a V8 with better fuel efficiency than a Prius. Best of all, it's completely silent. So the reason we chose uh, an electric vehicle with extended range over electric car is really that we felt, uh, and I strongly believe that uh, range is important. And why is that important? If you think about what was it that made us fall in love with the car? Well, I think it was freedom, it was a big part of it. Freedom to go wherever you want, whenever you want. Its 300-mile range, roughly equivalent to that of a traditional gas-powered car, means drivers don't have to deal with range anxiety. The Karma's first 50 miles are pure electric. Once the battery is depleted, the four-cylinder engine kicks in to power it another 250 miles. And the Karma can draw upon other unique power sources. We obviously have the, the largest curved solar roof in the world, and it, do, it can both charge the car, help charge the car, but actually also runs the fans in the car to cool down the car when you're gone from the car. So you use solar energy, which is free and emission free, uh, to partly power this vehicle. Visca takes sustainability to the next level with its high-end eco interiors. We use reclaimed wood. So all the wood in the vehicle is reclaimed either from the California fires or from uh, the bottom of Lake Michigan, which is then hundreds of years old. And you actually get a certificate when you buy this car where this wood came from. And I think that's a whole new excitement that we have never seen in a vehicle before, but it's also something that just makes common sense. I think the environmental aspect is important because this is where the world is moving. It's not something that is just a short-lived discussion point anymore. It's something where everybody in the world is realizing we need to do something to get a cleaner planet in the future. So for me, it's, it was really a matter of almost dipping into the future really saying, why can't we have the future now? Our next technology hails from Albuquerque, New Mexico, but we've come to Harley Davidson in Glendale, California to witness this spark of genius in action. I'm John Mead from Interpulse Incorporated. We manufacture the Polestar Pulse Plugs. A Pulse Plug is actually very different from a spark plug. Spark plug technology really hasn't changed very much in 100 years. Pulse Plugs are the first major advancement that we've seen in over a century on the ignition technology for a combustion engine. The Polestar may look like a regular spark plug, but it's what's inside that counts. It has an electrical device called a capacitor built into the plug. The capacitor is capable of storing electricity and releasing it at the precise moment to create a more robust spark, thus creating more efficient burn and more efficient use of the gasoline that's already being injected into your engine. The pulse plug increases torque and improves horsepower, resulting in better fuel economy and less CO2 emissions. Pulse plugs are being used in a wide variety of vehicles. Everything from a Prius and improving the fuel economy in that car, all the way to Harley-Davidson motorcycles. And they're also increasing the fuel economy in these as well. Polestar technology has other green benefits too, giving ethanol a shot at becoming a primary fuel. Pulse technology is a game changer. As we progress away from fossil fuels to more alternative fuels, the automotive manufacturers and the engine manufacturers are going to find that Pulse technology will allow them to use a wider variety of fuels more efficiently. So will these innovations in mobility be able to change consumer behaviours? If this sleek and sexy sports car, designed and engineered in Southern California, is anything to go by, the future's looking bright for green transportation.